Welcome. Today is day six of the Junk Journal January Challenge hosted by At Make Journals. And today the, the prompt was stitched. And that's kind of an easy one for me. I had some things in my stash that I already stitched up a while ago and never used. But I am going to stitch one little cluster uh, as an embellishment to a little pocket. And, um, and then I'll show you the rest of the spread. So here goes. Hopefully my sewing machine will actually work. Sometimes I have problems with the bobbin. Here goes. Zigzag stitch all the way up to about here. It did get a little bit stuck, but I think we're okay. Yep, you can see where it messed up a little. Um, this is a little Singer mending machine, and I actually really love it because it's small, and I only do small little projects like this, so I don't need a big giant machine with lots of fancy stitches. It's just got a... What is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 stitches styles, 12 stitch styles. So let's uh, put this spread together. So this is going to be a two page spread. I found this po uh, pocket or envelope that I stitched a long time ago along with this stitched journaling card that I'm going to put in there. And then inside of this pocket is a stitched tag that I made over the, uh, just before Christmas I guess. And then I'm going to use this here, and I'll put the prompt name and the date on here. I'm going to just write it this time, I think. I don't know if I'll type it. I'll decide that later. But that's going to be the finished spread. And I'll probably find some quotes or maybe use it, leave it blank to write something in later. I don't know, but I've got two blank things that I can write on or put a quote on or something. So... Let's just get this glued on here. And yeah, sometimes this, I really love this machine, but sometimes the bobbin acts up, so. Or the bobbin thread, I should say. But I think that just got stuck there because of the, something got, the material got stuck in there or something. I don't think it was a big deal. And. I don't love big long strings hanging, but I don't mind little ones. Okay, so that's that, and I will come back with the finished quotes and things on it later. Okay, so I got my um, quotes all typed out, and I'm going to glue them onto the back of my cards, and uh, I guess you can watch that process too. <laughs> So, the first quote I really like, and it says, Hope smiles from the threshold of the year to come, whispering it will be happier. I won't lie, we've had a pretty rough year this year, and I would like to have a happier one. <laughs> or, well, last year. It's a new year now, and I want it to be a happier one for sure. And this quote that I just said was um, by Alfred Lord Tennyson. So, I have to, forgot to put his name on the first when I typed it, so I have to put it on separately. And then the second quote is by C.S. Lewis. You are never too old to set another goal or dream a new dream. And I'm an old lady, so I like that quote. I guess that's good enough. I don't think I'm going to bother inking them. I'm just going to glue them right on. So, this one looks like it fits there. And this one looks like it fits here better. So, where'd the name go? Oh, where did it? Alfred Lord Tennyson. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Gotta get his name on there. Gotta give credit where credit is due. 
Ah, let's see if I can get it ripped without messing it up. And I'm pretty good at messing stuff up. <laughs> like, it took me 20 times just to get this typed properly. <laughs> Alright, so this goes there. Get my glue stick and just kind of rub it all over this. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And there you go. There's how that looks. And this is how this one looks. And now we'll clean everything up and show you the end product. Okay, so this is the end product. We have this little envelope that opens up and the card comes out. And there's the quote. And then we have this tag up here. Oops, there's something on it. A little paper scrap. And then there. So that's, there you have it. We finished day six, steam stitched. Thanks so much for watching.